Hello, in this video we will talk about the semaphore. The purpose of uh, this is to show the simplest way of the simplest semaphore, for my opinion, is the binary semaphore. I just uh, want to remind our purpose in code execution regarding the previous video. So we are starting the program performing the task and in the previous program the print statement was printed right after the program execution and after it task was performed so the main was performed before the task here in this video we want to define the time of each task so we want to start the program perform the task and only after the completion of the task we want to print the end statement and go back to the main loop so how we can do it we define the semaphore handle and uh, in the beginning of the program we define the actual semaphore variable then we start the program execution perform the task. Inside the task we, we make a few loops with delay and then we give up the semaphore. So we signaling that uh, the our semaphore is ok and we can go on and delete the task. Here we are checking if the semaphore is ok by, by taking the semaphore and allowing to happen for maximum possible time and only then printing the, sta printing the statement. Let's run the program. Okay. Okay. Now we started the program execution we are performing the task and then we finished go back to the main loop here and finish the program so after performance of this line the semaphore waited till the task will finish and only then came back to the main I choose to show it with the if statement because logically it's easier to understand but actually the actual use of semaphore is uh, a little bit different we, p we can put the semaphore statement like this and after this print it Let's make it uh, pretty. And we don't need this now. And what I'm trying to say is those two lines perform the same effect as the if statement. The semaphore will stop the program execution till he gets the give sentence. So the program will run, print the statement, perform the task, and can continue only after having the give statement back. Let's see how uh, save it and let's run it. So the program started, the task was performed, and the program was completed. Here you see the much cleaner code and much easier to understand, which have the same logic as was uh, given here. Thank you.